we had a discussion yesterday and, and passed the unanimous motion to support um, the Nobel Peace Prize uh, recommendation for the White Helmets, the Syrian group that has for years now been going right into the heart of the most dangerous place in the world right after a bombing to try to pull as many uh, Syrian civilians out of the rubble and have reportedly saved more than 60,000 lives in that terrible conflict. And it's uh, particularly poignant for those of us around the table because it was, it's also in support of a letter uh, my dear friend Joe Cox wrote before she died, before she was killed in England, the Labour UK uh, MP. So this is just a, what, a, what a beautiful way to remember her, but more importantly, as importantly, uh, to honour the work that these incredible civilians are doing in an absolute hellhole uh, of trying to keep some hope alive. Why are these the right people to nominate? Well, c Canadians have a particular connection to what's happening in Syria, having brought over so many uh, refugees from that, that conflict. This is uh, helping and honouring people who are on the ground every day risking their lives, leaving their families behind and going to the places just after the bombs have fallen. And what's incredible about what they do is they also know that the, the Bashir al-Assad uses a tactic in which he bombs immediately after the bombing to try to kill them, to try to kill these people, these white helmets, um, to, to try to eliminate all hope, I suppose. Yet they persist, yet they keep going. And if nothing, uh, if that doesn't symbolize what the Nobel Peace Prize stands for, I'm not sure who does. I mean, these folks are so committed to peace so committed to saving lives, even in the midst of a place where uh, it's just unimaginable for Canadians, yet we have this connection now with this country, and what a way for Canadians to express that connection, to express that hope, to sign on to the letter, to support them, and, and hopefully give them the global recognition I think they deserve. So, so what is your caucus actually doing? Are you actually passing the motion? We, have, we already have. So yesterday uh, afternoon before we closed, we had a small discussion about this, and it was just unanimous around the table that the support for this, um, Elena Vadier, our, our, our Fort Affairs critic, aware of this group, and just as New Democrats, as progressive Canadians, we wanted to show our support. We hope that other Canadians will join us, other political parties, perhaps, you know, the Prime Minister could see his way to understanding that this is something that ca Canada wants to get behind and join the world in the midst of this terror, in the midst of this horror, uh, holding up and honouring the people who have shown the best of humanity while the worst of humanity is also on display. So this is just about, frankly, getting attention for a... Uh, well, even, even if, the, I mean, even if the White Helmets don't win the prize, the attention to their work, the donations that are needed to help uh, feed their volunteers, to pay for the medical bills because they're often the ones that are also hurt because of the tactics that are being used. All of that is for the good. Uh, in the past, there have been public movements that I think have helped uh, draw attention to certain people in winning the prize. Um, this could certainly do some good, uh, regardless of what happens at the end of the day from the committee.